Hey, so this is a charged creeper farm uh, for 1.7 that I thought I would showcase. Um, I've been looking for automatic systems that can detect when there's a thunderstorm and begin charging creepers, and they all have they all have their own drawbacks. Rain detectors are slow to, to detect the rain, um, so you wind up wasting a good amount of the storm. Uh, daylight detectors don't work at night, and uh, a lot of the systems take, the, the rain detectors especially, take a really long time to turn the system off after it stops raining, uh, or, uh, or they wind up spamming observers with block updates as the, as the block dries out, and I, I couldn't really see a way around uh, any of that. So, I put this guy together, and, and what it does is it detects it uses a lightning strike to detect the storm. So you do miss the first strike uh, because the first strike turns the system on, but every strike after that is captured by the system and then a clock here attempts to turn the system off every so often uh, by pushing these redstone dust out of this dropper. If it succeeds three times the system will turn off, but every time there's a lightning strike these are pushed back into this dropper, resetting the counter. Um, oh, and we're going to get a live demonstration, I guess. Um, so yeah, if it succeeds at pushing all the redstone out of this dropper, then the system will turn off. But the lightning strikes should keep it on, and we'll keep. Uh, we'll make sure this is a thunderstorm and not just rain. And now we just wait for a strike. It's usually pretty quick. Certainly a lot quicker than some of the farmland based, uh, farmland observer based systems I've seen. Whoa! Okay, so this is one downside. <laughs> I don't know what to do about these yet. They don't seem to mess anything up, uh, they just hang out here. But, uh, man, I wonder if I should re, re record without those. I'm just gonna, we're gonna keep going. Get out of here. If anybody has any ideas for uh, preventing this or getting our, getting rid of them, I don't know. They don't, they don't mess anything up, but really annoying. Uh, yeah, so anyway, you can kind of see what's happening here. They're, they're moved into a staging area. Uh, they're not dropping anymore. This piston moved out of the way and they swim up now. Capture rate there seems to be 100%. And then when the lightning strikes, they fall down. And you capture them down there. And uh, I'm not going to show what's going on down there. I'll do that in another video. But um, So you can see here that every time this thing cycles, it tries to turn the system off. And it's, sort of, it's kind of fighting itself. That is trying to turn it off. And the lightning strikes are trying to keep it running. So as soon as this gets down to zero redstone, the whole thing will turn off. This uh, this this lamp is uh, superficial. It's not. It's cosmetic, just to show that the system is on. You can take that off. Uh, so we'll go to clear weather now. And we will watch the counter. It's now down to two. Uh, and while we wait for that, I'll, I'll kind of... This uh, one downside I saw is that you wind up with this holding tank of some charged and some not charged creepers. You can't drop them down because you'll pollute your charged creepers with a bunch of uncharged creepers. But you can't leave them there because they'll tie up your mob cap and your farm will be less productive as long as they're there. Um, mob cap is usually in my experience, a bottleneck for productivity. So something's got to be done with them. And the system is designed to suffocate them when it's done. And I'm actually going to speed this up for demonstration. Um, this would take one more cycle of the etho hopper, but I'm going to force it. And you can see there the whole thing turns off. Oh, ooh, my timing is wrong. I gotta add one more tick of delay, I think, maybe two. 
Well, it's a proof of concept. You get the point. That's a minor change. I'll probably add a ticket delay somewhere here um, so that every single one of them gets crushed. But that frees up your mob cap. It's pretty crucial, I think. You waste a couple drops, but I mean, if you're if your creeper farm is this productive, then who cares? And then at the bottom here, you would have your charged creepers ready to be name tagged or dealt with uh, while you're there, whatever you want to do there. Uh, and I've I've got a in a separate video, I'll show what I do with them down there at the bottom. But anyway, with 1.17 around the corner, I figure I didn't see any good uh, automatic farms on YouTube, so. I'd show mine.